This Ridley O is sponsored by friends of BitcoinStore.com. Well, New Hampshire Republican State Committee leader Jennifer Horn has finally earned a place on my ambush interview roster. The Liberty Forum attendee has often been pretty decent with Liberty folk, but when she joined Fergus Cullen to brood out one of my favorite state reps, Stella Trim Trimblay, she got a place on my bad guy list. I uh, have not been following the situation real closely, but as some of you may already be aware, Trimblay was quoted, uh, or I guess she had said something to the effect that she thought the government committed the Boston bombings. And she, I don't know if she went so far as to say that the government did it, but she certainly raised questions as to whether the government might have done it. And if it was the latter, then she's right that it's possible. <laughs> Anything is possible with the government. Um, so, although some of the statements, maybe they went a little too far, but uh, I mean, it just... I would rather hear that kind of thing than the syncophantic pro-government babble that you get from everybody else. At least it balances things out. She's always been someone who's been helpful to me, ready to talk to me. Um, I interviewed her about the Thomas Ball immolation the other day, and she, I was talking to her about a bill that she would submitted to try and address some of Thomas Ball's concerns, the guy that burned himself alive against the court system uh, in New Hampshire. Uh, at least she was doing something for him. Um, She's been supportive of people who are questioning the government, and she uh, once returned a, a recorder that I had lost. I had left a recorder at a um, at a hearing where, by the way, some of the other reps tried to take the recorder. Right? You know, they, when I was trying to record with it, they tried to grab the recorder. Right? Well, she just gave it back to me. Right? So uh, she's just so much better than so many. Um, and people say that her ideas are crazy. Well. The New Hampshire legislature is not supposed to be a bunch of polished suits like frigging Washington or Massachusetts legislature. They're supposed to be real people with warts and flaws and, uh, you know, a little bit of color, a little bit of reality. Let me quote uh, Tim Condon at granitegrock.com. Here's what he had to say about this whole business where I guess they, the, the Republicans forced her out. Well, uh, he, he says, uh, quote, Republican Rep Stella Tremblay resigns, and the NHGOP chair leaps at the opportunity to smear her further, said Jennifer Horn, as quoted in the Union Leader, subquote, the U New Hampshire Republican State Committee made it very clear that Representative Tremblay was unfit for public office and not welcome in our party. We are glad to see her go, unquote. Well, I am not, and in my opinion, again, this is Tim Condon talking, there are members of the New Hampshire State Republican Committee who aren't fit to kiss the feet of Stella Tremblay. Why? Because Tremblay was a reliable fighter in the House for lower taxes, smaller government, and less regulation. So she said a couple of dumb things. So what? Democrats, with their statist outlook, say dumb things every single day of the week. Would the Republican leadership rather see the always destructive Demons, uh, Democrats hold the damn seat? As we see, there are plenty of bad Republicans, even at the top. But there are no good Democrats. That's not, well, I'll argue with Tim. I'll argue with that in a minute. Going back to, going back to quoting Tim. So you GOP backstabbers who publicly rejoice over Rep. Tremblay's resignation, you've shown your stupidity. You need to resign, too. Unquote. Well, again... There are some there are some good Democrats. And there are some bad Democrats who I personally like very much. But for instance, a good Democrat would be Joel Winters or uh, Tim uh, Flaherty. Uh, but anyway, uh, we need to remember also that Fergus Cullen was the leader of the. Uh, he was, you know, well, I don't know if the leader, but he was he was further along in this process of trying to get rid of Stella Tremblay. He was he was. I mean, I I saw him raising hackles about her much earlier than I knew of uh, Jennifer Horn getting involved. He wrote, I think it was an article in the Union Leader denouncing her. But again, they're not denouncing her for being, I mean, her positions are not generally unrepublican. She may have said a couple of things that don't quite go along with the Republican orthodoxy, 
but she votes pretty similar to what you would expect a Republican in the state house to vote. So it's just it's just crazy. She didn't deserve this. I wish I feel bad that I did not reach out to her at some point and offer some kind of encouragement. But I just you know I get I get focused on just doing the videos. Uh, you know, there was another. Speaking of backstabbing, uh, this this goes a little bit further. I guess Steve Valancourt has been uh, going after George Lambert, who is uh, she's he, well, G George is much closer to the Free Staters than Stella Tremblay uh, is, but. Um, He's running for governor, and uh, Valancourt did a lengthy hit piece on him, and I, you know, okay, maybe there's something I don't know about George Lambert. I'll read it and see if there's anything bad. Oh, he's angry at George Lambert because George Lambert was the sole vote against Warren Rudman? There was some sort of honor for Warren Rudman, and... George, I don't know if he was the only vote, but I guess he was the only one that stood up to vote or speak against this honor for the late Senator Warren Rudman. Really? Uh, that's a, that the, for, for for making this stand, uh, uh, Valancourt, the supposed libertarian, called Lambert a clown. Look, I am a clown, right? I, I can be a clown. I'm a clown. But George Lambert is not. <laughs> At least not for making a vote that Valancourt disagrees with. It was the only thing in the article that Valancourt had to say against Lambert. Surely you can come up with something worse than that about anybody. You could find something about Mahatma Gandhi to say that's worse than that. It's not even a sin <laughs> to vote against Warren Rudman. Under any religion. I don't know a great deal about Rudman, but I can guarantee you there's probably something about Rudman that is sufficiently evil and wicked that I would not have voted to honor him. Anyone willing to take a stand on principle, if they had libertarian leanings, would be able to, to vote against an honor for Warren Rudman. You could vote against it even just to be voting against them taking up the, 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 the House's time. You know, I, mean, I can imagine myself voting against a, 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 a resolution honoring Gandhi, right? I like Gandhi, but I could vote against that just because it's taking up the House's time, right? So it's just crazy. The backstabbing, well, that's politics. And my ambush interview roster is longer than it was yesterday. This Ridley O sponsored by friends of BitcoinStore.com. Half a million items for sale, often cheaper than Amazon. The easiest way to convert your bitcoins into real-world stuff. They're privacy-friendly. You don't even have to give your name. BitcoinStore.com